Hey, Drop, how are you? All is well. How are you? <laughs> doing great. Doing great. We're doing these over Zoom now. So, uh, obviously, a lot of changes going on at UCF this spring. New coaching staff, new defensive line coaches. You guys are more than two weeks into it. So, how, how has it been in spring while well, we're working with uh, Gus Malzahn and your two defensive line coaches? Uh, it's, it's been it's been tough, I can tell you that, but it's definitely been a great learning experience. I definitely feel like I've grown a tremendous amount from like from when the last coaches was here to now, but I, I feel like it's it's great. All is well. Draymond, do you have any personal goals for this spring? You're about halfway through. How do you feel like you performed this spring? Uh, I felt like I feel like my performance. I feel like I have to be more consistent. And some things that I've been like talking to myself about, and my coach been talking to me about, is applying the technique that he's telling us to do. And a thing that I feel like I need to work on also is like playing the man who's in front of me because it's like I'm so used to just like trying to you it's hard if you're trying to play the man who's in front of you and then you're trying to look in the backfield you can't it's not going to work that way so if you just focus on the man who's in front of you he'll tell you all you need to know and I feel like that's something I need to do better or just play my man because that's the type of defense we play here we play our D-line is man to man everybody has a man so I feel like I have to do a better job at that. And then once I do a better job at that, I feel like I'll be fine. Trayvon, uh, how do you see your role changing this year? Obviously, you played a lot your first two years, but you know, you were a younger guy still, and now you're coming back. You'll be one of the most experienced defensive linemen on this team. Do you see your role changing? Or you, do you see the need to become more more of a leader, perhaps? Yeah, I definitely do see do feel the uh the need to become more of a leader because like I just see like from and even my coach was just telling me like it's it's like certain times I'll come out and not to say that I don't like have energy or nothing but like he'll say um I'll be too casual sometimes and he says like for me being too casual like that like kind of rubs off on like the other players on the D-line and then he was like you have to like there like there's not players he was like players on the d-line some of them aren't able to just flip the switch how like i can and he was like you just have to have it on just so they can feed off it because if they're going off of me like my energy and my energy is casual here and then they can't just come in the, in on the team rack and just flip the switch how i can so coach was just telling me like you just have to keep it on all the time and not not let up because they feed off of me Traymond, what is it like working with Coach Kenny Ingram? And obviously the defensive line has two coaches now. Is that do you see the benefits of that so far? Yeah, I definitely see the benefits of it. But Coach Ingram, I, I love Coach Ingram. He's he's such a he's such a great coach. And it's just like every day he tells us, like, I'm giving you million dollar information. Like every single day, I'm giving you million dollar information. And it's like if you don't choose to take that information, it's it's up to you, but he's definitely a great coach. And like what I like about him, every single time we start off, we always start with devotion. Just talk to God. Just and that that's what I like about him because he's he's cool. He's he's a cool coach. And he can he can relate. Jermon, uh, one thing we've been hearing from the different players is there's maybe more of a family feel amongst the entire team. Like maybe before, like the offense kind of did their own thing, the defense kind of did their own thing, and you guys really didn't feel like you were one big group. I, how, is that something that's changed? Is that like a different focus that Coach Malzahn has brought in to kind of bring, have more team team unity and bringing the team together? Yeah, I definitely do feel like since like the new, like the old coaches left and like the new coaches staff has came and Coach Malzahn and Coach T. Will, like I do definitely feel as if like we've came more closer, like since all of this has happened, like it's, it's definitely brought us closer. And even even before our like, like even when, like when we knew Coach Hype had left and like it was just us and 
we truly didn't have coaches and we were just thinking about who's going to come in and whatnot. Like we've been closer from then. And then I felt like Gus just, he's just trying to just keep it that way. But it's, it's great. Definitely more team oriented, I feel. Hey, Trey Monson, Rivas from News 6. With the spring game coming up and practicing really ramping up, what are you looking forward to most with the spring game in just a couple of days? Um, a thing, I mean, I know I can't, but a thing I want to do, I want to tackle Dylan Gabriel, but I know I can't. And in the last scrimmage, in the last scrimmage, like all the QBs were live but him. And I'm just like, oh, like he needs to get hit. But that's my guy, though. It's, it's all love. But that's that's one thing I, I want to do. But I know it'll it'll probably never happen <laughs> at my time here. So. I got to stop looking forward to that. <laughs> Draymond, have there been any, you know, players on the defensive line or even guys you're going up against offensive line, any players that have stuck out to you so far this spring, maybe make an impression on you? Like, wow, I, mean, that- I mean, sorry to cut you off, but I say like a player who stood out to me and it's just, I'm pretty sure you guys know too, like KD, like, it's, it's kind of just like, bro, like, how do you take a whole year off and you come back and you look better, like, than you did before you left? But KD definitely, KD is standing out. Uh, Cam Good, Cam Good is one of those guys who's also standing out. Keenan Hester, Keenan Hester, he's he's going to get it right. That's that's my guy, though. He's he's doing he's doing right. He's standing out. Um, I say... Dallas, Dallas Corbett, Dallas Corbett, man, and Wilson, those guys, they, I feel like once, once they actually just like, I have to do a better job at it too, but once we actually like understand and just actually like take what Coach Ingram is coaching us to the field and actually apply that, I feel like we'll be a lot better. And we still, we still have time to get better. And there's definitely a lot, a lot of things that we're working on, but those are a few people in mind. And then I would say I would say Josh Selleskar before he left, but he's he's on quarantine right now, so he hasn't he hasn't been here. But he definitely was standing out before he left. Traymon, you guys you guys didn't get the opportunity to have spring much of a spring last year. Did that do you have you felt like that affected you guys a little bit going into last year? Oh, I mean, it definitely affected us, but I say like me personally it definitely affected me a lot because in the springtime, like when I first came back, I weighed 280 pounds. Like when I first came back and there's no possible way you're going to be able to produce or like play at the high level of intensity that they want you to play if you're 280 pounds. And I just go from like now, from then I was 280 pounds and just now looking at it now, I weigh 250. So it's a big difference. All right, last one here from Brandon. Jermaine, I know you guys are focused on finishing spring strong, but do you start to kind of daydream about the season? Are you getting excited for, you know, what this season could hold? Hopefully things get back to normal and stuff like that. Are you kind of thinking about stuff like that yet? I mean, I I say kind of, I say kind of thinking about it, but it's truly just the mindset that you have to have. Like truly every single day we step out on the field, that's the game right there. Like, and coach miles aren't even like stressed it to us. Like, 90% 90% of the teams that we play, we've already beat them here. Like we're gonna beat him, we're gonna beat them today, or we already beat them on Monday. Like that's that's the type of approach we we have to have. Like every every time we step on the field for practice, it's it's a game. So it's like if you treat it that way, then come game time, it'll won't really be a big deal. Okay, thanks, Stroud. Thanks everybody. We'll be back with Brandon Johnson. Thank you.